Hey everybody, it's Aaron Norris. It is July 6th and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in 2. First, let's get to the numbers. CoreLogic says that home prices increased in May for the third month in a row, and they also expect to see numbers increase for June. Prices increased 2% year over year and 1.8% month over month. Spending for construction increased 0.9% in May and is at its highest in two years. Commercial mortgage-backed securities delinquency rates increased 10.16% last month. This marks the fourth month of increases. Mortgage rates are at 3.62%, a new record after declining from 3.66% last month. Man, that is low. Apartment rents are at a five-year high in the second quarter with a decrease in vacancies for landlords. Employment numbers were lower than expected, causing some nasty stock numbers as of this afternoon. We're still stuck around 8.2% national unemployment. Barclays chairman Marcus Aegeus stepped down after it was reported Barclays manipulated LIBOR rates as far back as 2007. Barclays and Aegeus have both been fined and Aegeus has admitted responsibility and admitted his actions were unacceptable. Director and CEO Bob, Bob Diamond and the COO also stepped down a day later after it announced his resignation. FHFA announced this week it has selected the winning bidders for the REO Pilot Initiative. If you were bidding on the 2,500 Fannie Mae properties and haven't gotten a call yet, that means you didn't win. <laughs> Only qualified investors were able to participate and the names of the winners were not released, but the transaction is expected to close by the end of the third quarter. Results from a three-year investigation shows Countrywide attempted to gain favor with Fannie Mae, congressional members, and other regulatory members by offering discounts on Countrywide loans. This would, of course, prevent legislation from moving forward that could affect subprime lending. It is unclear whether uh, investigations will move forward since several former and current government and congressional members were named specifically in the report uh, for receiving this discounts. I guess we'll wait to hear more in the coming months. Two provisions of the California Homeowner Bill of Rights is awaiting Mr. Brown's signature. The California legislation most notably stops dual track foreclosures, requires a single point of contact for foreclosures, and stops robo-signing. If signed, it would require servicers to give homeowners a yes or no answer about a loan modification up front before proceeding with a foreclosure. If a modification is approved, the bank can no longer simultaneously pursue a foreclosure action. That's it for the headlines this week, but there are many more news articles on the norrisgroup.com slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got the second interview with Mark Dowling of Ivar, Steve Manos, he's the president of Ivar this year, and Paul Herrera, he is government specialist at Ivar, uh, talking about eminent domain and loans in San Bernardino. Don't want to miss that. Check out our events at the Norris group.com and mark October 19th on your calendar. It is going to be our fifth annual I Survive Real Estate. Um, we're going to hopefully be making some more announcements about that next week. Um, check out all of our loan programs, all five, at the norrisgroup.com slash hard money. And if you're interested in earning 9%, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. Have a fantastic Friday and we'll see you next week. <laughs>